<laughs> Is it online? Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't see the chat yet. Oh. Let me get the chat. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't know how to handle it. So, welcome to the night shift. I hope you are all in pyjamas like I am tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, how do I handle it? I, I didn't thought this through since my computer is over there and here is my workspace for soldering. Uh, okay, let's switch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Aha. That should work. <laughs> uh, I should have moved like a monitor over there. I would zoom in so I see. <laughs> okay. Roland gear hardware. Oh, so many people. Ah, ah, ah. The, the chat window is too, too small, too big. I'm confused. Sorry. Ah, okay. Chat is dead. Ah. Yeah, the chat is dead. Let me, let me. Stupid chat. Give me a break. It, it died. I will re edit. <laughs> this is this is how prepared I am. Uh, but I'm preparing for like almost an hour already. Yeah. Okay, let's let's glue it here. And I don't know how to set up the dark mode. No, it died. It doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe I had to add a new window. Ah, OBS, give me a break. Chat to Yeah, I restarted my internet connection. To be sure to not have, yeah, to be sure to not have like um, a disconnect uh, in the middle of the stream because I had that that yesterday at some at like the same time. This is the wrong size. I need a size of like three hundred. Oh, this is the height. Okay. Yeah, guys, sorry. That's not the right one. I need... What's this one? What is that? Yep. I want that. A one thousand. No, one thousand in height. And three hundred. That's too much. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit embarrassing that you have to watch me setting up the stream. But this is how to live with OBS. Oh, there is milk more. Okay. Ha! 
I think we are we are ready to go. This chat window needs to be a little bit bigger for me to be able. To oh yeah! Oh, next is the VCA VCF chip. Oh, I I don't. So for your for the first disappointment, I don't do like uh, analog synth. I, maybe at some point, but uh, currently we have. Um, something yeah a software synth and i want uh, to 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 make an amplifier so i give you a small recap uh, or short recap i take the mic with me um and share maybe my des desktop screen okay this is the old window yeah don't 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 we have to okay so no uh, in the last um, streams, we made a few boards. <laughs> we made a, we, we made a few boards. Uh, one was like we have the MIDI cramp. This is the MIDI cramp deluxe. That's not completely placed yet, but we have the for the MIDI cramp deluxe. We have like the simple host set up here with the this is an headphone amplifier this is one of the amplifiers that we want to test today uh, this one here um, and here is the i squared s the external uh, i squared s deck but i don't know if we want to do this one since we have more we have this synthesizer software synthesizer is the same it's the same headphone amp and i want to all my bots so far didn't have um didn't have a proper amp um audio app amp headache me <laughs> yeah um so i want to add an headphone amp but we had also Where's the original cramp? Where's my cramp? MIDI cramp. Where's the MIDI cramp? The original MIDI cramp. It's not a programmer, feather, console. Is this the MIDI cramp? No. Yeah, that's the that's the the one that we finished already, even with routing. So it should look like this, but I didn't place the order yet. And I'll be back back to the to the chat soon. But um, yeah, I want to test this other amplifier. This is an, an this is a class D amplifier, and we want to avoid this amplifier to blast blast away your headphones. That's why we added like a bridge, uh, um, a voltage divider, since we have only an, <laughs> an 8 bit uh, R2R resistor ladder. And we can breadboard this here and the other, the PAM amplifier. This is the, from the Cramp, Cramp Deluxe here. Okay, so uh, let's do it over there. I can maybe since in the last uh, streams I wasn't able to demonstrate anything and this should be a practical stream. Oh. The camera is al already placed to be really close up for soldering and stuff. I will do the big chat window on the other screen. So what I have done so far, I tested the um, synthesizer. I wrote it on uh, for the um, ESP32 and did it on my board since it has the host uh, in place and 
Yeah, it has like a headphone jack, but this isn't amplified. So what we can do today is to, uh, this, is, this isn't able, it's like just two caps and this isn't able to drive headphones. It simply doesn't work if, if you had a board on the, I think on the tiny uh, Pico, my VGA, Pico VGA had also a headphone jack, um, but it's not a headphone jack, it's a line out. I stated it's a line out since it isn't able to drive headphones. And this is something I wanted to, to change and I received, uh, I received um, my delivery from LCSC uh, today. So I have the amplifiers here. Where are these? So if you want the part numbers, LCSC part numbers or scan codes here, here they are. So we have class D, one, one channel mono. If these are sortable, then we have another class D and this is the stereo AB, which is for headphones. And this one is really tiny. I don't know, I don't have a breakout for this. I don't know how we will solder it. It will be a challenge, let's say. So demonstration of this one here, if you didn't watch uh, MakerCast, so, oh. So it has an arpeggiator, do you even hear it? Okay, yeah. So you don't need to know how to play, you can just press the keys. Oh, wait, wait a second. Uh, it, it's it's velocity control. So if I press harder, it will be louder. Something like that. Oh, I could I could sustain it even. So let, let's sustain it. Okay, now it sustains and now make it shorter or longer. <laughs> I don't know if you can even hear it because I didn't. Okay. Oh, the, oh, oh, sorry. Ah, 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 okay. Enough, enough of that. So, uh, so it's still programmed with the, with the synth and we have to like get to the, um, to the capacitors here. I will zoom in and add some wires like these are the stereo channels and we will just take on the circuit from that point uh, to the to the um, a b class amplifier first i think it would be the best so uh, let's disconnect it hello uh, i Unfortunately, the, the screen is over there, so I won't be able to react to every comment, but I try since probably the most people will go, go to bed anyways. We won't be many, many, many here. So let's, let's try it. Okay.
Uh, yes, yes. Bare wires will do it. I will even take like uh, like Dupont jumper wires and cut them in half. Like I will take the longer one. Oh, th this is one of the good ones. I will l use a bad one so I don't have to mess around for a long time. But I don't want a janky connection. I will take this one here. But blue, no. I want a white one. But a longer one. Ah. Uh, oops, you get you couldn't see anything. Ha! Huh. No. Yellow one. Oh, this is good. That's a long, long yellow one. Keywords can a MIDI interface appear with AS334, AS332, and two times. Okay. Monosynth. And uh, how do you do like the gate? How, how it, can you do like polyphonic or is it like monophonic? It's a, like, like a monof monophonic with uh, ADSR or is it like a simple square wave? So what are the features of, hello Sienna, what are this, the features of, of these chips? Are they, are they even available or is this like old tech? <laughs> Thanks Peter. <laughs> I will just change a resistor value and then, then it's a completely new bit loony version of the circuit. Okay, let's mod, mod this one here. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I know that that uh, if you short the decks with like ground or something while they are playing, they could uh, die forever. I have several ESP32s that are dead already. And if I like intercept just before the cap, Mm, that could be dangerous. So I have to really take care to not, not like short these. So I picked like, yeah, breadboards. I I have only like dark breadboards left for the maximum contrast. <laughs> Is slack still alive? Uh, e, uh, e, Serious resistance in just in case. Yeah, but we want the bare circuit. So like like we had it on on the the, the actual circuit like like it's uh, in our schematics. So there is nothing in between as far as I remember. Maybe I can put on the screen here. Give me a second. Uh, window. No, that, that, that is difficult. Uh, desktop. it smaller can we clip it let's clip it somehow control no shift alt alt and clip yes this is clipping okay great so we have let's do the midi th thing here and we have
oh yeah we have a cap but this is a one microfarad it's not sure which 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 size we have to take there there is even a cap in between okay i will i will leave it oops did i change something no hope not I will leave it like that. Uh, okay, I hide it for now. Um. <laughs> Envelope gener generator, 24 dB filter, oscillator with triangle ra ramp and square outputs, VCA, voltage control, um, amplitude. Okay, cool. Yeah, I never, I never did something with like analog, um, analog synthesizers. Maybe I should try and get like a bunch of these, these components. But let's start with that one here, and I will just add control here. I will just add the wires to the breadboard, or I take like this white one here. It's might much better, and solder them directly. I need some flux, proper amount of flux. No, we actually don't think we need much flux here. Let's zoom in a bit so you actually can see what's happening here. It's still far away, isn't it? Wait a second. Whoa. No, this isn't good. Ouch! <laughs> yeah watching Looney struggling with his hardware for hours somehow stuck here oh no it's good it's only two bits per color yeah that's that's like this is my this is my uh, mini PC prototype that isn't released. I I called it DOSBot since I was I'm writing like an um, uh, 1086 uh, emulator <laughs> for that to run DOS at the end. But yeah, it's paused for now since I uh, really like to do something with with MIDI and sound again. So let's, yeah, in the, in the final synth, which we designed, there, there is no video output. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Michael, are you watching on a, on a Vive? Oh, yeah. Dawn of AV. Yeah, I have like, I, I, I need to, to do like this analog again, but I'm not able to get it running on the secondary, on the secondary 8 bits, um, I squared S for some reason. Maybe we can de debug it in a night session together. Okay, this is the first one. Yeah. Focus. Yeah. And that should be the second one. Great. Okay. Do you want to see the waveform? I can set up set up uh, an oscilloscope here. So you can also watch the waveform. Oh, I could use this thing here. 
so we can get much closer to the board at the end. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's too late now. Okay, great. So I can connect it up again. Oh. I just realized I'm hungry and I have nothing quick or fast to eat here like a snack or something. Hmm. At least nothing I can think of right now. Okay. Ah, can I somehow tuck it in place? Oops, sorry. And uh, the board again. Okay, still it's, it's still working. Uh, we can, couldn't see anything, couldn't we? Okay, so the board is still working. Let's set up a quick. some some good news I will receive like tomorrow I think or the day after I should receive like a key side scope and there will be like a giveaway for a key side scope not not far in the future from from now okay Oh, we still need like a ground and stuff like that. Oops. Um, male or female? What do you say? Eight pins, female, I would say. Not too short. Pinhead or female? So I will turn this off. It's like additional noise. We need like. Okay. Um, so spare headers. Did I use like all the eight pin? Okay, I used them for my camera programmer. But I also received like <laughs> it's like four hundred. Four hundred female. What? That's open. Like how many? Five hundred pieces. Okay, so th these are eight hundred in total, I think. And then now, now it's an odd number. What is blech? Okay. I will disconnect it or oh, power down. Oh yeah, we have a power switch, but I will I will remove that here, not to short anything. <coughs> uh, this is like a little bit inconvenient to put in this holder here. Uh, yeah, because I have all the connectors already in Beep. soldering pawn incoming 
8 pins that's right yeah how do i i don't have blue tag <laughs> watching Sion, i realized or or Liz saw the ring i realized i'm a total noob by not having like simple blue tag around always like struggling and holding it with my hand burning fingers and and stuff like that ah another small small problem is that i didn't like i didn't break out five folds so i need like uh, maybe another wire for the five volts a big comparison with somebody else what 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 what, what did i miss you guys are chatting you're you're entertaining yourself that's great so most of you are probably from australia or somewhere or are you like a night owl like i am i'm a lunatic you should know okay this connector is great no gap that happens quite often <laughs> mm, and what else do we need oops i almost ripped it off we need the five volts now we can we have to find five volts somewhere here so the switch here has five volts but i don't know where exactly where are the five volts okay so let's take a close look i will i will i will check out here so we have no focus that's what we have okay here this is the protection diode so this is protection diode is before the switch this is the switched five volts it's going over here and up there oh no the diode is after the switch okay, interesting so we need to connect here okay great oh now oh, it's a bad timing here for using this again sorry seasick persons nocturnal rodent reverse engineering my circuits yeah this, this is la pure laziness i'm a, a super lazy dude it's too lazy to to look up what i did there okay five volts this is a nice one we will like oh no i will take like a male female since these are the less Oh no, I take this. No, I don't take blue for red. And blue for VCC. Come on. I need like. Uh... Yeah, this is the one. So I'll take this one here. Cut it. My pliers. Oh, 
Oh no, I should use the protection diode, so I will use it here. Uh oh. Blasting your ears. I hope you don't use headphones. Today is a, not a good headphone day. Oops. Did I touch touch the breadboard with my soldering iron? Looks like this. Okay. Autofocus. I hope, I hope this won't, yeah, this, it's too long, too long, too, too long, too long of a wire. I just need like a super short end here. I don't want any five volts to be like wiggling around there. Oh yeah, that, that oh. Okay. Yeah, it was completely blurred. Ha! <laughs> you missed the action. I, I give you a closer look. So this is the protection diet and uh, we have like five volts here. Boop. That's all we need, I think. I made only two boards of, of these here. So this is the only one I have left since I gave to one to Aaron uh, as we were experimenting with the host stuff. And now, dip, dip, five volts here. Boop. And we can power it up again. <laughs> Plastic shoes. Okay. Um, yeah. Oscilloscope again. We can turn off the soldering iron for now. But I know we, we will have a slight problem. We were missing the ground wire. Lip. So Sienna, I was thinking about about the internet radio thing, but I decided uh, everyone, uh, they are always like complainers about the music that I put in my videos. So I will just leave it to the people to put on the, their favorite music themselves while watching the stream. So, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. We don't need that one. We don't need that one. These are the two channels and chat room. What? <laughs> yeah, I wear my pajamas. <laughs> oh no, you're looking <laughs> in my crotch or what? Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, my my girlfriend told me to put on put on the pants. Whoo, whoo! <laughs> yeah, this this stream isn't for children, so not meant for children. Yeah, but but you can. Uh, we we I have to 
set up the volume again and the where's the sound oh the sound isn't plugged in i have to somehow plug it in so it won't pull everything down and i hope it don't doesn't blow up on me oh. Okay, demonetized. Yeah, it would be if uh, the trash channel would be uh, monetized in the first place. But it could if uh, if you <laughs> if you continue watching my night se uh, and, uh, night shift sessions, then I have like missing three hundred watch hours or something on Bitluni's trash, three hundred or four hundred watch hours uh, for these requirements. Uh, to be monetized here so no as soon as it's monetized i will completely drown you in commercials i promise <laughs> i can't hear anything oh yeah it's not set up okay yeah Okay, it's still working, but I don't see a signal here. It's stopped. What? Ah, okay, okay. Is it filtered? No, it shouldn't be filtered. Why do, do, don't I see anything? Uh, auto setup. Auto setup. Let's turn off the second channel. Is it? Is it even the right probe here? What is that? No, 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 no. Whoop, whoop. Second probe. Whoa, okay. Ah, uh, no, this isn't the second. This, Which one is this? No. Okay. Okay, we need it faster. <laughs> Why is it so noisy? Okay, I will zoom you. You in a bit. I want to code a sample based sense on ESP32. Uh, you know, uh, you can use like my code that I released already for the ESP32 with. Um, yeah, you used like. I don't know if, if you forked the uh, forked uh, Dawn of AV. I think it has the this audio system already, and you can pitch all the. You, it's like you generate with this uh, with this web interface your wavetable, so you can like put in all your the samples of your instruments. And then you can play them at edit pitch. The only thing you have to set is to the pitch at which to play it. There's there is there's some code that I published that has this in place. I think it's like with the audio stuff. So you actually you can do like a wavetable synthesizer already without anything else. Just playing wavetables like okay well this automatic setup is horrible let's ah where is it position oh we have a trigger set up a trigger where's the trigger no no trigger source is channel i'm not concentrating on my work here I should use the gate as a trigger. Yeah. I'm thinking about adding reverb, but it's so much computing power needed for reverb to work. Unless someone of you uh, knows, knows like a uh, super simple formula like a hacked version of a reverb that actually sounds nice 
because you have to like accumulate all the samples each for each sample you have to accumulate like a certain amount of, of uh, history samples like uh, I don't know if you want like a reverb for one second then it will be 44,000 samples that you have like to multiply and add up uh, for it to work to be like a reasonable uh, reverb that's too much I think it's like 44,000 times 44,000 is like already uh, 160 uh, like 160 million samples per second that you have to p process yeah i yeah that's that would be the the finite uh, like fear filter no not not float values Float, the floating point unit of the USB 32 is quite slow. I've used uh, the, uh, the floating point unit for this um, version of the synthesizer, but I will convert it to fixed point at some point. Yes, IIR, but uh, do you have like a, a good formula for IIR? And IIR works only with like double values. But if if if, this, if there are not many double values, you could actually do it somehow or with float values uh, on the ESP32. Do we have like a IIR version of uh, reverb? You can use convolution over an array of samples, then use an impulse response to get very accurate reverbs. Okay, yes, I cannot because I don't know how. <laughs> but I'm open, open for for input about this. So I don't see anything here. Where's my where's my signal? I'm too stupid to not a C line. What do, did I do here? Okay, like this. This is what I want position reset position I don't see anything maybe I will do like a, a roll I don't see anything ah, there is it okay this is our waveform will turn down the volume of my sound card FV1 from spin semiconductor a single chip part What? Wow. DSP, yeah, but how much does it cost? It's like five, five dollars or something. I would rather, I would rather take an, um, oh wow. Uh, yeah, you have, you, I think Sienna, you have like, you're an admin, <laughs> like a moderator. Yeah, that's the new theme for for the night shifts is pyjamas. I have to read all the. Please uh, feel free to to uh, drop the links in the um, in the comments. I will add some. Andy, if you are not moderator yet, you will get the moderation right here. And electron ash as well. Michael, if you are up to it, yeah. But please, uh, <laughs> no trolling. <laughs> okay, um, I would rather add a small FPGA before before I start like with DSPs that are like fixed. Okay, I don't have to do any code for that. 
but I he even got like the, there's this small, super small, um, uh, super small FPGA that was that is quite often re used recently, um, and that I could put on a board and do. Oh yeah, thanks for the moderator. You keep talking about the SPs and yeah, but I can't read right now. I will read it up and we will discuss it another time. Today we want to do some practical stuff. Okay. Here is here is I can show you now the ADSR how how that works. So this is I'm modifying the what is this the attack time? Yes. No. Or is this Oh Ned, no, this is the sustain, I think. Oh, this is the pitch. Yeah, that's a little bit too. Okay, but we can see here like oh the, I will I will set the epigeator to Okay. Oh that's beautiful. Okay, so crash course. This is maybe in the next video. We have the attack time, I think this is fixed. I didn't uh, do like an op for that. Then uh, we have the uh, attack, then we have the sustain, A, D, S, D, 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 K, this is also fixed, I think, so this time, then we have the sustain, this is the amplitude of this when you, this is, this is simply the time where you keep the key pressed, and the release time is after you release the key, so you would have like a gate, would be like an amplitude for uh, where you have the pr uh, key pressed that would be like a square f like here and this is like the envelope for for a node and this is quite important otherwise you will have like clicks and it uh, it sounds really sucky the, the envelopes are really the the first thing i would implement after having like an oscillator going on here. Looks like a rocket, yeah. <laughs> okay, but we have now uh, something for debugging and we wanted to solder the PAM. Okay, where are the... We have here... And this, these are the super tiny amplifiers. Bloop. Here we go. What did we say? It's like two, two and a half millimeters in size. <laughs> this is so so tiny. I I don't have a breakout board for that. It's like, can I even? Will it even focus on that on that? Ah, uh, uh, it struggles a bit. It struggles. Yeah, it's it's very tiny. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> and there are like four pins each side. I'm not even I I, I don't know if I'm even capable of soldering that. Okay, so this is my Wurstfinger. <laughs> Wurstfinger is the the proper term in in German, the proper word to describe 
uh, thick fingers like like Sion's finger <laughs> and I <laughs> yeah yeah either my soldering skills or I take like a breakout board I have like a bunch of breakout boards but I'm not sure if there will be one that fits uh, this small size I have like okay yeah that's that's not going like the size down the size I would need but no oh no this isn't that here's a bag but these are all like oh these are too big Who's flying? I missed I missed something in the chat. Oh, Luna Lander. Okay. Okay, I don't have the proper breakout board, but I think I will use like a small breakout board. and put it in reverse on that like we need 16 pins we have something with 16 pins here we go this year that would almost fit but this will be finicky this will be like ages to solder and uh, I don't I don't know if I even have like the, the proper wires for that <laughs> yeah everyday astronaut I I I uh, I watched, I'm always watching like um, the stream, the SpaceX stream and the, the last time he had like this clouds, these clouds of the test for, of, of this uh, a bot test and that was really, it was really funny to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hilarious isn't it okay we need to fin uh, find the, the f I will put the camera closer to that oops sorry not don't look it will be like super oh shit something dropped there uh, I have to put it like really close here so you can see something Oh, I'm, all, I'm already here, like, shorting stuff. I will disconnect it again. But before I short, oops, sorry. Okay, this is what we need to solder. And we will solder it on that. And we will use, like... What is the thinnest wire that I have? I don't have these like these uh, magnet wires. Hmm. Ouch. Oops. 
or maybe I should solder on the pin headers first so I can at attach it to the to the pin headers otherwise yeah I will try try doing it like that okay I need also another tip just like a huge tip but for the for the headers it will be okay Okay, uh, let's. I uh, let's let's uh, discuss the 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 good the good uh, the proper way of doing synthesizers the next time. But I will maybe I will rewatch the the stream so I can I will see all the links. That you posted. Okay. Flux or no flux? Flux. Yeah, Colin, uh, the picking place is this week. Sh shall we do another night shift? Who wants to see uh, the calibration, the final calibration of the picking place machine? I even have like uh, something I could pick in place already that you could even get on the on Tindy afterwards. It's quite a simple project. It's like a VGA board, the the white edition, that I have lying around, laying around around like uh, half a year here, and never finished it. It's like a simple. I will show it off. Come on. Where's the solder? Okay. For the sake of the sound, I'm not using my exhaust. Fan, but I could use something else. Just for the cover. Okay, just for the cover. <laughs> Come on, is it cold? No, what's happening? Okay. need valve amps for better sounds yeah <laughs> but i don't have any valves i think i can't remember oh, okay now we need to connect here here we go yeah uh, get a mask like that it is the the best thing uh, especially um for woodworking, 
it's so great all the dust i had like every time or uh the most important stuff if you like grinding stuff with like the angle grinder that that's uh stuff is really toxic so you should wear a mask like that and this one is like 50 50 euros with all the filters up to like uh, for atomic fallout but um, I really want to get one uh, full face mask so my eyes are also protected and this is original 3M and silicone I, I don't like the smells of like um, this other rubber and this is a complete uh, silicone mask and it's like 50 euros or something but it's uh, a great in invest if you are uh, doing like other maker stuffs and for soldering it's it's okay as well okay so we have like the indication is up here if i rotate it the first pin the corner oh yeah good night johnny It's 3M, Michael. Um, I want to get like this full face mask, but this is over 100 euros. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really. Yeah. Okay, so if it will focus, I may I be maybe turn off the aut the autofocus. Okay, now now it's focused. If you look really closely, the upper right corner there that also indicates like the f the first pin. You don't like Picard? So I, I watched the third episode yesterday and I actually like it. It's it's looking gorgeous. The the Oh yeah, diagonally, that's a good tip. We'll put it like this and maybe uh, something like that. Okay. Yeah, the the numbering will be wrong. I have to like maybe it's not the best task to do in the middle of the night. I have to get it right then. Okay. So I need a print of the of the actual pins. Let me get get a print. Where is the pen? The pen, 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 pen. Not the pen, not the pen. <laughs> yeah, focus your fuck. <laughs> quickly print the data sheet oh okay Peter. What do you think is political on uh, on Picard? The wrong printer. You 
can watch Pika on Amazon. I think it's Amazon Prime. Political in the way that virtually all characters have to be diverse or female or the sake of politics rather than character and usually always talking down to Pika himself. Okay, I know what you mean, but um, in the last episode, it's like it's like um, it it. Uh, reminds me of or remembers me of Enterprise the series where they started building up slowly and it had a great story and I liked, liked the characters and this time also Picard has to build up like his crew and we started to see that in the third episode okay that's too much printing I think I need a pen. Where is the pen? So I should have mirrored the simply the Okay, so we we will have like pin 16 here. So this will be 16 15 and so on and this will be 1 2 3. So stop it already oh no not the SMD pads I will wire them directly to uh, to the to the uh, headers so I need like to rotate it such that we will have Maybe even the numbering right then, but it's not possible. They will cross. I will simply, we have to forget about the labels and simply solder all the wires. It really doesn't matter. We have to, to do it. Okay. I. Okay. What do you think? Should we use like this wire here? Yeah, <laughs> pipe. <laughs> okay, maybe that one. <laughs> yeah, but they are the, the strands are a little bit too thin. You you probably can't even see it on stream. So or we can use like no, this is also too thick. Hmm. I will just take a multi-strand wire and uh, take individual strands. Okay, let's see. 
get some mouths. Put that away. Um, do I have super glue? I will just. No, it's it's already full of. Yeah, no, it's we can't use super glue anymore. It's already full of junk. Or we clean it with the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, so we have like super thin wires here. This should be long enough. Oh, okay, thanks for the hint, Electron Ash. It's it's quite it, I think it's a really great idea to have you guys around so you prevent me prevent me from from uh, from doing stupid stuff yeah I don't have an uh, um, uh, microscope I'm sorry I'm not as rich as that what do you think about like do you have like a good good microscope with can you recommend one with camera? I mean, like, sh should I get a similar one to that that um, Louis Rossman sells? Okay, I will change the tip now. Since we need something more delicate and I will actually switch to a tip that I never used before I think even here look at that this is like a really virgin a virgin tip Yeah, uh, it's a challenge, Electron. I don't think so. I really like the QFN since you can simply press it down with the tweezers and it will s squish out every excess um, solder and you don't have the problem with solder bridges. I really... I really appreciate QFN for that fact or for that matter. Let's 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 put on the proper amount of flux. Yeah, I will I will add uh, soda first. Okay, yeah, the solder, it's like this conical tip that the solder is just going upwards the tip. It won't stay at the bottom. Oh, but, but now I need really this protection here. So I'll be, I'll be calm for a moment. moment. I just want, don't want to blast your ears.
<laughs> yeah, blue tech or some kind of, of glue. Fortunately, I'm really blessed with good eyesight. Once, once we soldered on like, but, but how should I solder on like this, the, the pad next to it? That's stupid. What, 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 what the hell are we doing here, guys? It's probably not even, it doesn't work like that. Okay. Oh, it, it rotated again. So I have to rotate it this way around. It's completely drowned. So this will be the fourth wire. No, it's, it's, it's not, not, it's like shorting another pad. No, it's, it's not, it's not good have to remove it again because it's too long like this i will start with, i will rotate it later i will start with that pad here and then do i have yeah that's like a bond wire here <laughs> That's really foolish. And how many watts uh, do I need to, to to use here to this 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 thin wire? How many watts? It would glow like we have like three three lights with that one. Okay, the first one is done. Twenty five milliwatts. Okay, so it won't glow. Okay, first bond wire is on. Let's let's simply try if we if we can no, I will I will just to take it in place, I will just rotate it and do the other corner here, up there. Oh, no focus. Here we go. No. Okay, I turn it off. Autofocus. Where is the autofocus? No, it's not the autofocus. Is this the autofocus? Here. Yeah. It should stay there now. I don't see anything. Okay, next bond wire. Okay. How about that? <laughs> okay, why don't you saw the wires it pins another surface and place it back yeah because i now i tagged it and i think if i would do it the other way like 
uh, soldering it and moving, I will just detach the wires again. I don't want to move it around anymore once once the wire is on. That should be all that we need to do here. Okay, now let's see if I can attach to the pin right next to this, this one. I think I succeeded. <laughs> so if you need someone who manually attaches bond wires to wafers, I'm your, your guy. <laughs> yeah, but the next one will be difficult because that one is quite to the, on, at the edge. Come on. And then I need to use the tweezers here. Okay, the tension is high here. Okay, I need to move that one around. Okay, guys. Just order some breakout boards for, for all the small footprints. You never know when you will need one. Okay. Wow. Sometimes I even impress myself. Yeah, only 12 more to go. I think I need more solder on the tip here. My solder. No. It's attached, but it's really, really, really close. I, I will. You know what? I maybe I bring you even closer, but I have to move you around a bit because uh, the position is really maxed out. Oops. <laughs> Brain surgery. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, you want you want uh you are bored already. Yeah, just discuss uh, Star Trek. I think that one is a little bit too close. I, I'm not sure if it if uh, it doesn't short even like the ground pad in the center. If it's a ground pad, I don't know. Okay, I think this is good.
performing brain surgery. This would be best with music now. Okay, I will add some more solder to, to the, the pads there. Since these seem to be a bit on the dry side. Okay. Okay. Do you know what, what I forgot? I forgot to bring any headphones. I need to find some, some trashy headphones. Oh no, I have one. I have some there. We can even measure then the resistance the ten internal resistance to be sure how it actually performs. I know the resistance has, has to be high because these are like old huge ones that are ev like every time they are like a little bit on the low volume side. Okay. Ah. Ha! That 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 one is standing upright like like a real bond wire. Like really square. Oh no, it detached. Damn. Okay, so flat is better. Good night, Andy. No, I need to make it flat here. Yeah, that one is a little bit like not behaving. Why the heck it has like 16 pins? There are so many like use, there's so many useless stuff. Uh, like the gain select and so on. But I need to test that this as well. So. We are more than half done, guys. Another hour. Which which one can can put out 140 watts into 4 ohms?
Can any, anyone explain the, the difference of the classes of amplifiers? I was too lazy to research that. So we had, we had already like that class AB have more loss, but are more linear. Then we D is like good amplification or what? Harsh words. Yeah. So, what did Dave did wrong? I'm missing the discussion. I just need to get finished here. I think we will only manage to do one circuit with this pen here. Yeah, this is in the class AB amplifier here. Single, single chip, two channel, super tiny. Class A is single-ended, it pushes only. Class B uses separate push and pull stages, which don't overlap. Class AV uses push-pull with the response overlapping. D Class D uses digital out with a low pass. Oh, digital out like uh, PWM or, or, or Sigma Delta? With like a MOSFET or what? Peter, you are a genius. Thanks. Or is it like current with uh, a Darlington pair or something? Okay, guys, only four, four connections left here. Pulse density modulation. <laughs> okay. So it's like, yeah, but class D is then really great with like efficiency, isn't it? So class B is like um, simple transistor stuff like NPN or what? Okay, much text there. I better hurry so we can test a class AB amplifier today. Or the D, the D is, uh, I, I have a breakout bot for the D amplifier, class D amplifier. Come on. I'm getting better at this. Oh, 
Wow, you guys are really experts. And I still don't know what impedance means. This should be like a running joke of mine, struggling with the with with understanding what impedance means. AC resistance. Okay. So it's like it's also measured in ohms. But how how does a does AC resistance differ to DC resistance? You push pull. So it's class D uses like a half bridge. Okay, that should be varying resistance. Oh, okay, wow. So this is getting complicated then since it's not like a really easy thing. Okay, I will use like scissors. <laughs> I won't do it like Louis Rossman, who wiggles the ends off. I will use simply scissors here. Okay, okay, but then, so we have like impedance, so, so is, is this then, if, when we have like four ohm speakers, is this resistance or impedance? Since speakers are always like, it's a magnetic field, and it's driven by AC. Should I say then it's like impedance? Okay, I will wiggle it off. Do I do it like that? I can't see anything anymore. So that's a beauty. Nominal impedance at certain freq frequency. Okay. Wow, this is getting really sophisticated here, guys. Where do you, where all of you know this from? So some, some of you are like really stud studied, like. Uh, electrical engineering or what i know i had s some co courses on my in the college in the university um rechner technology because i'm computer engineer but i must admit that i wasn't listening in the second course so it was more like this analog stuff was in the second Okay, the wiggling is much better than cutting uh, with his, with this scissors. So I must admit, Louis Rossman knows what he what he does.
Oh, I missed something. That was addressed to me. Uh, they don't touch. I will, I will put enough space in between. I'm a bit worried to put this whole thing um, in my ultrasonic cleaner because <laughs> it's so delicate that it could really fall apart. And I really don't want to solder it again. I just try to let the ends here not touch each other and anything else here. Here, this here are a little bit close, okay. And this here as well. Oh no, that one is detached. What happened here? Shit. It's so much gunk that I can't see anything. Okay, now I, it's a little bit, no, it shouldn't be hard to solder it. I have just to bend it in place. Oops, sorry. Yeah, but it was attached, it detached afterwards. Okay, I will try again. I have like here some glare from the lighting. So uh, I can't actually see it as well as you. Your eyes are closer to the to the thing than mine. Okay. Okay. Everything seems to be attached. No, that one detached as well. Come on. I, I need a little bit more solder on that, I think. Oops, almost detached the second one. <laughs> okay, but it should be, no. Ah, oh. now I detached the second one by accident. Okay. Now my hand is shaking. completely wrong here. I'm messing up things here, guys. Now I have like a rip. Yes. <laughs> ah. We have to start all over again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm moving one by one wire by one wire and 
detaching the next one, every single one here. So this row is completely soldered a second time. Okay, but I think I got it now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, let's test the continuity. And oh, that was a hard one. I think this is the smallest thing that I ever saw that <laughs> these pads. I have to show this off in a video at some point. It's crazy. I give you a closer look. If it's even possible, I don't know. Okay. Look at this beauty here. Oops, off center. Here, here we go. Nice. I should put it that in, in resin and sell it as an artwork. <laughs> I don't know how, how much time we spend on that, but if you count like a euro or a dollar a, a minute, then this is a quite expensive breakout board. <laughs> Okay. Now we need to find out which pin it, it, it is what. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah, my printer is a little bit broken. And I need a pen. Where's the pen? I need a pen. Oh. Here we go. Next stream that's sponsored by Google. <laughs> okay, this is the top view. Oh, there was a bottom view? Oh, no, there isn't. Wait a second. Are these different ones? Oh, which one do we have here? There are two types of this is the Type US, type US. We have the AT PEM eighty nine oh eight. What? So these are completely different. These are completely different footprints here. This is like QFN thirty. No. Where does it say which type it is? I don't see the part number here. Did I cut it off? No. What's the difference? Do I get something wrong here? Enable, in, out, cap. No, it's just everything. It's like this, this here is. Oh. These two pins are flipped. Wait a second, you can see anything. 
We got two two flipped pins. Enable and HPVDD. And I don't know which one which which one is this? What? Eight or one. This is eight. And which one has the pin out? Yeah, eight nine oh one. But I, I, we have the eight nine oh eight. At least it, this is what. Can anyone read that? Hmm. I, I'll try to read that, but I think we have the 08 and yeah, it's the 8908. Okay. Out L on 16, okay. Yeah, but I need some. I need some help. Okay, this is. This is what we have here. Okay. I should print that one here. I will print my schematics. Can I print this? No, it doesn't show. PDF, yeah. Okay, save it. I need you guys in the chat on, on the screen here. Okay, here we go. Is this autofocus? Yeah, it's autofocus. Great. I move it away a bit. Whoop. I hope I can manage this. Okay. So. I will try here. I need to remove these small wires from 
the table otherwise I will short everything that I put down there it's interesting that these single strands of this multi-strand wire have been working out that great okay now we need the labels here so we have first pin is eight so i will or let's do it this way this is one i i don't see what you see It's blown out, isn't it? I will make it darker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, okay. Now we need to label them correctly and assign the right pins. So we have the corner on the bottom. So the chip looks like that. So that means that, where's my small cheat sheet? Yeah. So, that means that the corner, the first pin, so this is pin one, and this is four, this is five. Is this going around? Yeah. And this is eight, nine, twelve, it's twelve, yeah. 12, 13, and this is 16, like that. Maybe a little bit closer to you here. Here you go. So eight is one. One is LDC, so this is in left minus. In left plus, in right minus, oops, in right plus. Then we have out right, oops. Then we have G. Can, can someone check if we can uh, leave gain pins floating? If it, what, what it does if we leave them floating. So, but we can also let just, just connect them to anything. And this should be H. HP V S S that sounds like like a virus. Then we have cap. Oops, cap. This is for the charge pump. Oops. Oh, cap minus P G N. D cap plus and H P P V D D another another sexually sexually transmitted disease here. Then we have the enable pin P V D D Then we have A 
SGND, GND, and out left. Great. Let's do the circuit now. We have our cheat sheets here. We need some caps. Let's remove it first, like that. Oops, that's wrong. This is what we want. Okay. This is somehow a little bit inconvenient here. Let's remove the probe first. Oops. Okay. So left and right channel then we have ground here well, let's move five volts over here we need one one side we need like 3.3 volts where are my where's my box here yeah. Guys, there are three type of jumper wires. Good ones, bad ones and great ones. I will show you the difference. This year, these are the great ones. Uh, they are heat shrinked at the ends. And these are the most re reliable wires I have. Then there are, uh, so th 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 these are the great ones. Then you have the good ones. These have this uh, round plastic uh, tips and there is no glue sticking outside, but these are also good, good and reliable since uh, both of these types have like um, yeah, the pin is round shape, not not square, not folded, not anything. And then there are the bad ones. The bad ones are these here, the squ square ones that you get cheap from from everywhere. But they are quite often useless because shitty things lose their their cover here and they're like janky and um yeah this is like only folded sheet metal that's somehow like gets doesn't want to go in or something i specifically searched for like good quality jumper wires recently and i actually find found both uh, these types uh, these actually have been the the ones that i bought uh, when i started my channel so these are quite old and still sturdy and good okay we have like 3.3 volts over here okay so let's move 5 volts over here we get 3.3 volts over here Now let's put the PAM in the center. Like there. Uh, 
Ok. Let's get the wires connected. We have Okay, we have L LDC in, so here is, we need one microfarad caps, but we didn't decide on that yet, so if, if the base, it, it, it will be okay for the base. Uh, I have like one microfarad, do I even have one microfarad caps? Oh no. Yeah, I have this, this assortment here, but it stops at 100 nanofarads. Okay, let's get me out something, but I really need like some ceramic caps here. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have one microfarad caps, like, um, but I have like here, these are one oh eight oh five. we could solder them on, wow, oh no, what the, ah. <laughs> Okay, who the hell packed these things? They're like completely loose now. Okay, I will turn off the turn on the soldering iron and I will create some caps now. Sorry guys, this is preparation again. And we need like, need quite some five. Six. Damn. Okay. Class H amps. What are class H amps? Oh, I should have switched my soldering iron tip. This is ridiculous starting to solder like breadboard. I should just order the boards and test it on the fly. Okay, we will manage to do this somehow. Uh, just give it some goop here, there. Goop, 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 goop. No, I will switch. I will switch the tip. Doesn't make sense of this this conical tip here. Oops. Yeah. Fort fortunately I can I can switch my tip without turning even turning off the soldering iron. the hell am I doing here? This is really inconvenient right now. <laughs> I should so <laughs> it's the worst job ever compared to 
to what I did just just did with this bond these bond wires. It's like shame. I I should do a walk of shame after this, but it worked. So this is the first one. It's my one microfarad here. Second one. So watch watch a pro working here. Is this a cold solder joint? Yeah, it is. Okay. This is how you burn your fingers. Ouch. Okay. This is the next. I should have prepared the caps at least. Sorry, guys. Your experts are inventing new classes of amplifiers. That's great. That's productive compared to what I do right now. Okay, we need some more caps. We need also like for the... I don't know why. Is there a reason why I... There is like this... Um, we have a differential input. So maybe someone can, ex can explain why this is from the reference circuit and we have like the dc input and since we don't have differential input this one is connected to ground but why do we have to put in like this cap to ground is there a reason or did i do i get something wrong here I, I really don't understand why I should put a cap there. I need a fancy exhaust fan like Brian got one like with um, this conduit because that one is quite loud if I would turn this on you would it would, would blast away your ears and you would hate me for it it's really loud it's like also it's I don't know some of, some of the fan doesn't sound like healthy. Shit. I just touched plastic. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Need more solder. This is like very inconvenient right now here. But that's only caps that should do the work. Oh, these are not bypass caps. Uh, these these are like DC DC offset caps. Yeah, Brian's exhaust uh, is like, you have like this, um, maybe I'll show it here. Like um, you have like this conduit 
with that you can place close to your workpiece and then the, the conduit is like quite long and the fan is like in the device somewhere on the floor so i have the microphone on this table and if i would turn my exhaust fan uh, right next to it on you would only hear the fan and not not nothing else Okay, then we have some grounds. Where are the ground pins here? Okay. We have the caps. Okay, you can you can see anything here. We have the caps now. We connect it to in L and in R. So it's eight. And I have another. Yeah, I have here too many janky ones. Okay, and that one. That will be six. So input is connected already. So you couldn't still couldn't explain why I need these caps for the ground. But I will put them in and suffer from from many wires. It's all your fault if, if it takes long because we wire like caps to the ground for whatever reason there. It's not bypass, it's like, why is this, this one so long here? So I'm trying to pick the good ones. So the plus is connected here, input. Five and seven. Okay, so oh no, no, that that's not that way. I can't connect them to the same. I think you want to see closer. Okay. Ah doesn't want to go in what's the breadboard is shitty no what's wrong with it oh there you go like that and now I'll add some black wires oops sorry guys some black wires to the ground here Okay, so we have Okay, so we have completed that one here. Now we add maybe we should connect the power. So we have a ground There is another microfarad, another microfarad cap here. Didn't I? Yeah, I have one here. Um, Oh, 
Oops, sorry guys. Another microfarad cap. And this will be Getting I'm very picky with the colors right now. Okay, so where is this this pin? This is HBVSS. HBVSS. That's pin one. Okay, then I rather put put it there and directly to ground um, okay let's connect maximum gain We have G0 and G1 and we will simply short it with 3.3 volts since this will be the signal level that we get. This is G1 and T2 and 3. This should be that one. This is getting convoluted. Okay. Or maybe should I put it to five volts? No, it, it doesn't really matter. If it's obfuscates our, or makes it like. <laughs> you guys are going crazy in the chat. So at least spending the time in the chat connecting you people has like some positive impact on the world. So you guys are actually able to create something new or at least inspire yourselves. Okay, yes. now yet the, we need the outputs. This is the output pin. Output R. Yes, this is pin four. I will put them here. Where's output L? Output L is over here. I'll put it here. We are almost done. It's as quick as soldering the <laughs> the IC. You know, you know what? What would be really funny if we powered up and it immediately uh, burn burns up, like letting this magic smoke escape. That would be like a really funny GND. It's simply ground. That is simple. SGND, so where's SGND? Oh, yeah, sorry. Electron ash. Yeah, it's, it's already so convoluted you can't can see anything. Enable pin. So we will enable pin. Where's the enable pin? It's not inverse, it's enable, is, is it? 12. So we will simply set this to 3.3 volts as well. We have one PVDD. Oh, another one microfarad cap. Okay. Who the f hell thought this would be a great idea to using like 
one microfarad caps everywhere. And it, it's actually good that we use the ceramic surface mount caps since in the final circuit it will be such types as well. It's getting messy again. Maybe I should, even though it's not a, it's not very good to use the breadboard for this, but I really need to fix this in place somehow. Didn't work. This is really janky, but it works. Okay, now I need another 10 microfarad cap. Ah, 10 microfarads. Okay, I will start my reel. Okay, I got a oh six oh three ten microfarad cap here. It fits between the, the pins. Okay. Okay. So this is the one microfarad. Uh, where was this? This was ground HPVDD. HPV, this is 13. Pin 13. It's also ground. So this is like for probably for some kind some kind of oscillator circuit inside to get the charge bump for the negative voltage. So if you didn't know okay i don't have a black wire so we'll take a blue one instead it should be okay okay 10 microfarads 5 volts uh hpvdd no it's PVDD. It's pin 11. Yeah, and we need to put the cap close to it. So, you know what? We can simply put a cap in between there somewhere. Yeah, we simply put a cap here. It doesn't really matter. It will be noisy anyways. And we will no, it's five volts. Oh, then it's not not right. 
we need to put it somewhere to, to the other side. Damn. Okay, yeah, then there's no way we can put it close to there, but uh, red, since it's five volts. PVDD, this is 14 and this is P11. And now I need also ground on this side. Okay, you, you can't see anything. Okay. We have still three pins left to do P, G, and D. P, G, and D. Like I will take a black one here. P, G, and D is 15. This little small I see here, so much stuff around it. It's crazy. So what do, what what what's left? 14 and 16. What is CPP? C C what is cap minus? Cap minus. Oh no, there is another one microfarad cap. Oh okay, this is the cap minus and cap cap plus. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. No, it's it has to be like probably not far away from each other. How do we do it? So I will take a three pin and remove one pin from the center. And then we need somehow put in one of these microfarad caps there in between. I'm getting really cramped here. Okay. How do I do it? Like this. This is in my way. Oops. Okay, now I need like a wire to bridge the gap. Here we go. Here we go. A custom custom made one microfarad cap that spans two two uh, holes on the breadboard. And that guys should be it. Will be like a moment of truth in a few seconds. to see if oh I need to I didn't use gloves I need to clean up my hands here somehow Uh, 
Okay. Cleanup time. Let's move everything away here. We still have a useless bag of one microfarad caps. Okay, any bets if it, it if it will work or not? We should see like um, we we can test it with. I need one black wire here. Okay, let's plug it in first. Are you ready? <laughs> Three, two, zoom in. If a smoke ex escapes anywhere. Three, two, one. Okay, okay. The ESP32 runs, is still running. Oh. Okay, sound's still there. But this, this is directly at the DAX. So now we will turn on the oscilloscope and see, see what we get, what the output is. And the next step is to connect, connect headphones and see if we get anything on the headphones. And then we can say first try. <laughs> okay, oscilloscope is up and running. Where's the probe? This is not the probe. Okay, this probe we will use the first probe here. Where is the ground? This is ground. Ah! Everything is entangled here. Okay. I connect it to the output. Oh! <laughs> Guys, can you see it? It's like super noisy. What is that crap? Okay, but we have like an it's like an analog offset. Let's see what what it does. Oi. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm <laughs> Okay, let's let's play no Oh no, it does nothing. What is that? That's not what I expected. 
I expected it to work first try. It will probably sound fine. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, th this this is not this is not a problem. When I did detach it from from my sound card. Okay, I still see something. There's something happening. Okay, I will connect the headphones and then and then we will see if it actually works. Look at this. These are the crappy headphones that I will use. Uh, Philips SBC HP. What, what's the what's the what's the resistance uh, or like what was it static impedance? No. F but it's so it's like here convoluted and entangled. There's like another cable entang entangled. No, no, ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Let's let's do let's do what we are here for. Um, I need like some crocodile. Looking for for another crocodile clip here. I had one around. Where is that one here? I lost them. Where is it? What the heck? Are you kidding me? There must be somewhere, some way to connect it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, I will take like a headphone, actual headphone jack here. Uh, where are my headphone jacks? If everything here is so chaotic. Headphone project. Mm. No. No. Yes. Sorry guys, I have to sort another wire here. We are almost done. We are almost there. Hang in. Please. On the headphone jack on my clippers here we go wire strippers I lost them 
Okay, my finger fingernails do the job. Okay. Okay, where's the ground on the headphone jack? It's this one here. You probably can, can you see anything? Not sure. We could we could try the other channel though if that is more like giving a nice sound no flux no luck Okay. Headphone jack is done. Whoops, it's it's off again. <laughs> Shit. Oh shit. I'm shorting it. Yeah, that's a really bad mistake. I just shorted the, the pen with like, with the soldering iron. Fortunately, it has like a protection circuit, prob most probably for shorts. You, you, you saw that, you saw that on the, on the oscilloscope, it went like dark. I almost broke everything. <laughs> yeah, impatient dudes. Okay, sound still there. Now let's plug it in. Ah. Okay, I put on the headphones. I can't hear anything. Is it is it completely plugged in? No, it's not. Now. Oh. Yeah, okay. It does something. It's a little bit faint. So here is here is what I get. I hope you can hear it. Yeah. Not very convincing, isn't it? So that's, 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 that's the, oh, oh, okay, 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 we are getting closer, it's, <laughs> if, if you are still there, so the other channel, it's a little bit better, but it's completely overdriven, like, here for yourself. Oh yeah, here. Go. Yes, yeah, so, uh, the, 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 the other channel seems to work, work better. There's probably a slight problem with the connections. Input level too high or 
or um, I have the gain to max. So I will set the gain to a lower value if I find it again. Where, where was the gain? Because we set like the gain to a crazy, to the maximum value. Out! So gain was here, G, G1. Okay, these two wires are gain. So we'll simply set the gain to the lowest value. We have like two bits of gain. Let's set it to mm, reasonable value here. Yeah, no. It's still the same. Oops, sorry. So, the input level, okay, maybe it expects like an input level between, between um, zero and one volts. What does the, what does the, Data sheets say. And doing class D weird stuff, TM. <laughs> no, it's a cla class AB amplifier. It's not D. Yeah, that there is an audible problem, guys. So what should be the input range? Supply input voltage. Oh. 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 Where is it? That's not what I wanted to show you. I might want to show you. Show you the data sheet. Not the data sheet. Oops, did I close it? No, pam, pam, pam. Okay. Do you do you see the problem? <laughs> okay. So our input is like tenfold of of that what it should be. Where is the chat window again? Here. We need the oops. Yeah, no, I can turn it off again. input no it's it says the input should be oh did it say no it, it said what was the input did i get it wrong please don't confuse me
Oh, it's minus. Okay. HPVVD. Uh, VDD. HPV. What is HPVDD? VD. V, v, d, v. No, it should be. It could be. It's not. It's not too loud. Maybe it's the caps. No, I don't have uh, the PC screen on my workbench. I usually work at my workbench. Uh. <laughs> but I have a use case for a tablet now. No, it isn't. It, it's, it's like it's like a charge pump, whatever. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are the pro. I am. I'm a noob. Ah, uh, so what's the problem? Maybe the caps. Should we use different caps there? Or I will just. You know what? I have I have put like the volume here. The, you can turn down the volume in software by by like to a lower. And I will check how it sounds without like super overdriven shit. Yeah. I I think one volt is okay. Yes, I am awake. And uh, but but I'm getting tired. We are we are done. We have like created an amplifier for at least So It's noisy, but uh, it doesn't sound overdriven now. And this is where my volume is. So we get like, the input is around, it's not even one third, it's like below one, one third, I think. Uh, we, sh we shouldn't exceed input of uh, one volt there. Yeah, it, it is in action. Look, look here, Sion. There is a, s a slight problem with uh, the other channel, but this is what we did. It didn't take as long as I expected. But yeah, that one. Now, uh, what I need to check is we have ch uh, changed the gain. I will set it to high again. Sorry, I'm shouting because I have these headphones on. Oh, now I have like a, what's that? No, the gain. Oh, I get some kind of oscillation now if I change the gain. Ah, this is. Everything is janky here. Here.
Okay. The gain, I don't see an effect of the gain. Yeah, sure, it's all right. <laughs> Look, mom, no computer. Yeah, the guy is awesome. I love his videos. I'm, I'm watching them every time. Uh, he uploaded today a video. I didn't watch that one. Or did he? Huh. There should be seven capacitors at the minimum. Are there, se are there seven? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven caps. Yeah. He's like crazy. He puts out so much stuff. I feel l really lazy compared to him. Okay, guys. I think this was a total success today. A total success. Oh, I know what happens. Do you do you see that here? Th this is where where the power supply drops out, I think. So otherwise we wouldn't see that problem or hear the problem on the deck output. So obviously there is too much power drain at super high amplification. Where's this supposed to go? I found a detached wire. No! <laughs> uh oh. I know by every, every, the, everything is connected there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was there before. <laughs> Without ground connection. <laughs> oh yeah, I hate bread bread pods. Okay, but um, let's say uh, this contraption was a success as a soldering lesson. <laughs> I probably have to debug it a little bit more. But I will do that off camera. So guys, thank you for tuning in here. I will simply detach it from from the power. Oh, that was the three to three point three volts. Okay, now I know where where this is from. It was like here from the from the header. Now it doesn't drop out.
Sorry. Oh, this is quite, quite. Should I turn up the volume a bit? Okay, I think... <laughs> you know what? I probably simply, simply order... If, if China wouldn't be shut down, I would simply order a board. And what the fuck, I will just test it and see if it works. It probably is, every, everything is probably fine, but it's ev everything on the breadboard is so janky, it's simply... Sucks. Um, yeah. So let's do like some music. Base, guys, base. I must admit, coding is a little bit more fun. Only if it works. guys thanks for watching and i think in the next night shift we will we will try to finish the picking place machine isn't that an idea and what i want to build on the pmp is this simple one here so oh, let me show it here it's only resistors and some true hole components. But we should manage to do that, don't we? Whoop! Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> out, out through a trash channel. <laughs> boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. Bye! <laughs> Thanks, guy, for being here. <laughs> Please say I shouldn't do it again. Doop.